Hello everyone, it is Lorraine and today I am coming to you with my next nail of the day video. And this is the design that I created. And um, yeah, I'm very, very pleased with this look. Very, very pleased. Um, last week I didn't do a nail art nail of the day video just because I didn't even change my nails. I don't think at the end of the week last week. <clears throat> I think I was just real tired and I don't know what happened, but I didn't change them and I didn't do a nail art. So this week I wanted to make sure I did my nail art the other day or whatever. And I have all the nail art application part in a separate video and it's going to be titled Get the Look and I think Wedding Jewelry Nails or something like that. So anyway. This is what I have created. Very, very simple with the stamping because I wanted the focal point to be my actual, um, the accent nails. So, um, so yeah. Oh, I just got a nick, son of a, mm. See, just way too excited and I'm annoyed at, I just need to calm myself down before I totally muck all these up totally mess them up I'm trying so anyway my accent nails are this so this is the necklace and this is the coordinating ring to go with the necklace and I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out so let me go ahead first I'm going to insert my clip of what you will need for stamping okay so in order to do your stamping if you are new to stamping here are the things that you're going to need to actually uh, complete and do the stamping. So you will need your stamper. This one is from Store Envy. I like this one because it has a very squishy stamping surface, which it just helps me because it actually stretches the image for me, um, at least width-wise. And then you will need your scraper. I am just using a plastic store card. I find it gives me better um, kind of flexibility and it just, it doesn't scratch up the plate and it just allows you to get like evenly get the polish in there. It, I just like the this better and I'm just using a store card. They do have plastic scrapers but they're hard plastic so you don't have as much flexibility. And then you will need your cotton ball saturated in pure acetone, not regular polish remover because the oils in polish remover will cause you not to be able to pick up the image. This tool here is called a cotton claw. I get it from Sally Beauty Supply and this just makes it easy so I don't have to worry about handling the actual cotton with my nails and transferring all them horrible fibers. And I always have two, one to clean off my image plate and then one to clean off my stamping with the stamper. And then of course you will need your stamping plate. This is a Dashika Beauty Shop plate, big SDPC. And then the polish that you're going to stamp with, this is just a regular fingernail polish by Cushio Color. Um, a lot of metallics stamp really well, so um, you don't have to have special stamping polish. And now let me just go through and show you everything that I used in, in, in its entirety to create this look. As usual, I'm using my Rejuvicote um, base coat by Dory. And then my two, the base colors that I use, the main base color is this um, polish by I Heart Nail Polish or I Love Nail Polish. This one is called Down Comforter. And it is what is on all of my nails except my, for my ring finger. It is like a, it's not white, it is more like a a grayish white and it has um, holographic glitter in it but it is so fine that it doesn't you don't see it on the nail and um, yeah so that's that and then for my accent nail I am using this color by new bar it is my favorite new bar this one is called spark I think it's just perfect It's a very neutral color you could wear this Anytime, no matter where you're going, it is a beautiful but neutral color. Again, Nubar Spark. 
And then before I do any type of nail art or stamping, I always apply my a, a top coat, which is I'm using my Dory Miracoat top coat. In case of stamping, it, it helps if I mess up and I need to take the stamp off, it won't totally take off the nail polish, the base color. And then also if you're doing nail art, like applying rhinestones, you want to apply top coat, let it dry completely, and then apply more top coat if you apply your rhinestones or jewels with top coat, which is what I do. Because when you're applying them, sometimes you may have to kind of move and scoot them around. And if you already have top coat on top of your base color, it will only disturb... it. The majority of the disturbance will be with the top coat and not necessarily mess up the base color and like smudge it or wipe some off. So you'll be just kind of messing up the top coat that's already there, that's already dry, but not your base color. Always, always, always apply top coat before you're doing any type of enhancements or nail art or any stamping to your nails. And then for my stamping polish, I just use this plain, um, not this plain, this Cusio color um, and I just got this today from my friend Mitch in the mail and this is called Holy Toledo you ain't gonna be able to read this it is so so tiny I don't know what they were thinking but it's just this gorgeous like coppery gold color or copper color and then finally for my final top coat I cured everything including my nail art and the jewels under my IBD UV top coat and I just cured these actually once I finished this nail I applied some more and cured it then I did my second nail and then cured it again so and I did it three minutes under my IBD UV top coat now for the nail art items that I use I got these I don't even know what they're called but they're like this rainbow roundish half I don't know glass pearly type thing I know horrible description but those are the base the main the focal point for my jewelry and then um, from Sally Beauty and I got these from Nails by Jen I'll put a link to her channel below. I believe she has some grab bags available now or she recently uploaded a video. Don't know if she still has any more. But then I also used this nail art wheel from um, that I got from Sally Beauty. And this is by Cena, Cena Pro or Cena something. And I used two different things out of this one. Um, I used, there's a string of... Um, micro beads which is what I use to create the chain for the necklace and then also what I use to create the band for my ring and I just basically it was a long strand and I just cut kind of eyeballed and kind of figured out how many I would need and then just used um, some toenail clippers to cut them they cut really easily with no problem and tweezers to help move things around and to place the um, the actual beads and then I also use I use two different color two different sizes of the ha half <clears throat> pearls on my left hand I use this larger size half pearls and I got this I believe from um, Moyu London when I placed an order and then the other ones the smaller ones were from this Cena um, nail art kit and then I used a rhinestone picker upper which I got from Sally's you can find these at five and below I got some extra ones from there so you can find them there uh, at five and below they were like a dollar at Sally's they're like I think 329 or something like that so that is everything that I used so Thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times. What do you think about this nail look? And my idea was wedding nails. It's the springtime. What happens a lot in the spring other than warm weather? Wedding. So if you're one who wants to jazz up your nails for either going to a wedding, if you're in a wedding, or you are the bride, these are this is a really great way to jazz up your nail look and you can actually use, you know, do the stones in colors that coordinate with your the wedding colors so the possibilities are endless but i figure this would be just a nice just elegant nail look and i wanted the um accent nail to be the focal point which is why the stamping is not like in your face loud because i could have thought about doing black 
but I didn't want it to take away from the actual nail jewelry. So that's it. Stay polished at all times and have a great day. Bye. And I knew I was going to forget something. I forgot the stamping plate that I use. Um, I'm using my Dashika Beauty Shop image plate and the plate that I'm using is Big SDPC and this is the image that I used here. This is really nice swirly pattern here. It's a little bit short so as you can see um, I didn't get it all the way to the base of the nail but that's totally fine. I'm still extremely pleased with how this turned out. So again Big SDPC by um, Dashika Beauty Shop. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and get started with my stamping. Sorry, I was supposed to zoom you in. And can you see? Okay, this is the image that I'm going to be using here. And I'm going to place this on all my nails. Hopefully I can get this to kind of stretch so that it, it will be long enough for my um, middle finger, which is the longest nail. So, um... Yeah, I'm just going to do this one image over every single nail because I don't want the image to overpower my nail art. So as always, I just place a row of polish across the top and with regular polish, I tend to apply, I tend to apply a little bit more. And you don't need to cover the entire image because when you scrape, you're going to scrape down over the image, which is pushing the polish in there. And then with fine lines, it actually picks up cleaner and better with um, if you do straight down. And then with this one, I'm going to do it this way because I kind of want the... Um, I want to make sure to... Tr I was trying to get this this piece as much in the middle of my nail as possible so that is what this looks like so I'm gonna do one more nail really quickly because I am doing the same image and again I clean my plate after each stamping as well as my scraper what the image looks like now with this one I'm going to line this up like this just along the edges so I can get the tip and then just press and roll and that is what that looks like so that's what I have so far so I'm going to finish the rest and I will be back Stay polished at all times.